name of Jesus Christ, I command every demon and strong hi may peace be upon you in the clip that you just saw it's talking about in the name of jesus and demons and i just want to help shine the light for more christians to understand because i used to be a christian myself i was raised as a southern baptist christian until i was like 19 years old that's when i stopped going to church and i considered myself to be more spiritual but i never stopped praying i always prayed for guidance um, in the name of jesus and i found islam when i was 25 years old and i converted to islam because I realized, I learned that it just made way more sense than Christianity. Um, God is only one, not a trinity, and Allah, God Almighty, he sent prophets, uh, including Abraham, Moses, Noah, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all, and they all came with the same message. Every single time a prophet came, they never was preaching something different. Jesus was like one of the last prophets to come to earth, and Jesus didn't come, peace be upon him, Jesus didn't come and start talking about the trinity. So it's, it's kind of crazy how Christians believe in Jesus and what he says, but he never said anything about a trinity. Um, going back to the clip that I put in the first of the video, talking about in the name of Jesus casting out devils, I want you to understand, obviously if you're a Christian, you believe in the Bible, and that means you believe in what the Bible says. What does the Bible say? In Matthew 7, chap, I'm sorry, chapter 7, verse 22 and 23, Jesus says, that on that day many will say to him lord lord did we not um did we not make prophecies in your name did we not cast out devils in your name did we not you know make many works in your name and jesus will tell them get away from me i never knew you you evildoers and i think that this is only one verse of so many that needs to be you know understood like there's so many christians that hasn't even haven't even read the bible and christian scholars will admit to you guys that the bible's been corrupted this is the words of man this is not the word of god so this is why the last and final prophet had to come prophet muhammad peace be upon him he came with the same message as every message before as as abraham moses and it's to believe that your god it's the first commandment your lord your god is only one not three in one god isn't inside of everything God is unimaginable. We cannot, he does not eat, he does not sleep. And um, learning that there was a religion that was so close to Christianity, um, it just, I mean, it was clear. I was guided to the truth. I, my prayer was answered finally. Alhamdulillah, Islam is definitely the truth. And I just pray that we are all guided and may, may all your, may, may your guidance really, you know, come to you. So anyways, <laughs> see ya.